So you're on a, a major threshold in your life. I feel like new people circulating around you. A lot of adventures, a lot of a uh, good sense of contentment coming through as well. I see a lot of you are sunbathing for some reason. So you're enjoying the, the sunlight. You're going out. You're having more of a, well, you should be having more of a social life. And um, don't have, you know, any sense of regrets or anything like that hold you back, okay? I also feel a lot, there's um, some type of a beautification process happening. I feel a lot of you are taking better care of your health, either drinking more water or getting some physical exercise is what I'm sensing. And, um, you know, I, I feel like you want to revamp your lifestyle. You want to feel better and you want to um, be in a situation where you shape up not only to look good, but to also feel good and be healthier. There's also communication coming through from your external environment. Um, I feel more of a homebody vibe for a lot of you. You might be entertaining guests at home uh, coming in for this, um, this month. And I feel that it's nice to entertain guests at your house, but possibly, you know, reciprocating and going to other people's house, that's something required of you as well, okay? So try to do that whole reciprocation process. Um, so three more cards for your spiritual advice, Geminis. Okay, so we have forward movement, which is very good. We have a little bit of a competition and indecisiveness. Okay, so let's go over this spread here. First of all, the first cluster we're looking at here deals with the death card in the Eight of Wands. Okay, so first of all, the death card signifies a major significant change in your life. I feel like for a lot of you, there was a move that happened, possibly, you know, December, January, for the past three months. I feel there was a massive move that happened. You're trying to get adjusted. You're trying to get comfortable and you're trying to adjust to your new lifestyle. And I feel honestly, I feel that um, it was difficult for you because um, I feel like January and February might have felt a little bit lonely. But this is going to change. Things are going to change for the better. And you are going to, once again, regain your grounding, your footing, and expand your social network. Okay? So not to worry. I also feel that uh, within the past three months, you were put in a position where um, I feel like you were had to be very cautious about the things that you say. There might be somebody around you who, who is potentially uh, walking on eggshells around you, not trying to upset you, or you like most likely are the one walking on eggshells around them. So there is some type of a skirting around issue when it comes to communicating with another person that is very significant in your life. It can be, you know, family members, coworkers as well, somebody that you, um, you care about. I feel like it's somebody you care about. But I feel like there is a, a new way of relating, of talking, of speaking that's going to prove to be very fruitful for you in terms of um, approaching this person in a way that will allow you both to have a better relationship, okay? So the second cluster deals mainly with overall career success, public image. So first of all, we have the sun. The sun is a card that indicates tremendous success coming through, okay? Getting recognition um, for a lot of you, you're kind of like the, it's like the spotlight is being shown on you and you're meeting people, socializing, networking, and you're meeting people who are potentially younger than you and they are introducing you to a new network, a new social circle of friends and associates and po potentially even colleagues. So you're entering this situation feeling quite good about yourself, feeling very hopeful about the future. Um, we do have the Queen of Cups as well, and this is also showing up, you know, this is more of the public image. So I would say for a lot of you, there is this energy. The Queen of Cups is somebody, a water sign, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody who's very nurturing, who is very, very caring. They have a lot of um, emotional depth. They know what it means to sacrifice. They know what it means to love and be supportive um, to whoever is around them, okay? This is can be female or male. The cards are not gender specific. But I definitely feel there is somebody who is in your public environment. Like this is a public image card. So it deals with career. It deals with work. It deals with, you know, education, whatever it is where you interact with other people. I feel like there is a water sign 
around you that is going to help you, first of all, bolster, boost your self-esteem and to also make you feel very um, sure-footed and very good about yourself. So they help boost your self-esteem. They provide a lot of support in order for you to achieve some type of goals. I feel that you might be in close proximity or in collaboration with this person, all right? It is somebody who props you up so that you can achieve things. I, I feel like it's almost the person that um, gives a lot of love, support, but I feel while she is emotionally available, there might be some geographical distance even. You might not see this person on a regular basis. They're there circulating around your periphery, but you're not in constant contact with them. But you know you have a place to retreat to or you have a, um, a support network in them, okay? So I feel as if for a lot of you, you're feeling quite good. You're feeling very, very, um, uh, I, I guess like calm, settled, happy. This this month okay which is um i feel like with gemini's a lot of the readings tend to be all over the place because i feel like so much energy and um, momentum in a gemini spread so that's why i tend to do it last mainly because i feel like there's just I, i'm trying to capture all the information and you're all over the place so i feel like this is the month in which things are calmed down you are also very calm and i feel like you're in a good space right now emotionally Let's look at your uh, career and finances with the next um, cluster. So these are not divided up in any way. It's just whatever card shows up and what it relates to. And that's how I'm going to read the energies, okay? So it's a pentacles card. So I'm just going to assume this cluster, spirits wants to talk about finances. And a lot of you need to um, manage your finances a little bit better. Let's just put it that way. I feel that there was a lot of wastage when it comes to financial dealings, um, possibly applying for jobs that didn't come through. And the ones that do come through, you still have options that came through. The ones that came through are not like your top choice. Okay, unfortunately, Gemini's. But I definitely feel no matter what, you have a way forward and you have can carve out a new path for yourself. So you want to be uh, mindful that the opportunities that are coming in, sometimes from the get-go, they might not look great. But if you work at them, if you give them a chance, they can flourish and become something very, very beautiful and, you know, much needed in your life. You might not have know this ahead of time. But like I said, the pentacles, the ace of pentacles especially, these are gifts from the universe, okay? The pentacles indicates a new revenue stream a new uh, job, new training program, a new source of income. So for a lot of you, you have potentially left a job, moved away, starting a new job, or in the process of searching for a new job, and there is going to be a new job that comes through for you for this month. Now, I'm going to say this. When the Pentacles card is linked up with a card about regrets, um, what you see and what you feel might not be the reality, okay? So don't think back about the job that you've had before, how much you were making. Think about each job itself as a learning opportunity. Yes, we all need money to survive. However, I don't feel you are in any dire strait when it comes to your financial situation. So I feel like no matter how much you make, Geminis, you are resourceful and you can live within your means. So it's not even about the income that is coming through from the job. It's more about how the job makes you feel, which means is your self-esteem tied in with the job or does the job somehow, the does the environment, the work environment, does it somehow, you know, boost your self-esteem? So that's something to think about. I feel like for those of you who are out looking for work, there is a job coming through. It might pay a little bit less than what you were used to in the past, or you might have other options that were your number one. And, you know, the the third, fourth choice happened to fall through, happened to come in first. So at this point, you don't know if you want to go ahead with it. But like I said, these are gifts from God. And one of the things I really like about the Ace of Pentacles, especially about, uh, with the way it's depicted in the traditional Rider Waite deck, it's that you have some type of financial offer and there's like that doorway in the garden. So it means that not only is it a financial offer, not only is it solid and it can be built upon, but it's also allowing a new path 
forward to open itself up to you. So it is something where what you see is not what you get. So don't judge it prematurely. Build on it and give it time and it will exceed your expectations. Okay, so don't worry, Gemini's. Now, this is your emotional state here. First of all, um, there is some worries coming in. There is some potentially harsh words exchange between you and another person. We have a fire sign coming through. It's showing up here as the Knight of Wands. It's the Prince of Wands in this deck, but it's uh, equivalent to the Knight of Wands in the Rider Waite. I feel like for a lot of you, there is somebody that you care about. And this person is very directed with their words. They might seem a little bit harsh. They might be in and out of your life for whatever reason. It can be family members or love relationship partners. But either way, I feel like uh, their presence um, destabilizes you emotionally. There's a lot of energy, like mental energy here coming through. And I feel almost as if you, you have to do some work the the sword energy is your energy because you're an air sign. I feel like the other person, I, I, I'm feeling almost like abandonment, abandonment issues. And these are things that are deeply ingrained in us. The other person doesn't have the intention to abandon you. So these are things that you have to work through. And it, it stems from some childhood trauma. It stems from some type of, um, uh, you know, recurring uh, situations that you keep finding yourself in and I feel like unfortunately Gemini's a lot of you have to work through this so that you can um, stabilize your future relationships so that you can feel secure with your own self rather than for depending on another person to make you feel secure okay so I feel like if you're dealing with somebody who's constantly in and out of your life you're constantly living in a state of in high anxiety which is really not good for your mental health so you want to think about who is exhibiting these traits why they are doing this and if there's anything you can change from your end okay and I feel like there isn't um, a causal relationship here but I do feel that because you're a sword energy you want to be mindful of the way you communicate with them because it seems like you might say things that are very cutting and it, it, it pierces both people. So if it was like this, then I can at least say, you know, maybe they are, it's coming from them to you, but I feel like it came out like this. So possibly the, the situation is painful for both parties. And at this point, if it's still worth it to you, then you, you want to figure out what you can do to make this go away or to fix it so that it doesn't hurt the two of you, okay? So the ball's in your court here because you are the air sign and this is your energy, so you have to get yourself out of this. Um, I honestly feel as well, this is about sleepless nights, but I feel that with your energy, there's a lot of communication, there's possibly a lot of... Um, People coming in and out of, the, of your life, like social um, events, social engagements, and you might not be getting enough sleep. So, you know, make sure you take better care of your health, okay? I feel like Aquarius might have gotten the same card. Um, there may be Libra too, so maybe it's an air sign thing. Just, you know, don't get so um, stuck in it, okay? And I know that um, it's hard when you're dealing with it, but if it's something as simple as getting enough sleep, staying awake like all night thinking about you know silly things or um you know i feel like for a lot of you you might have um you might be like working the night shift and you're sleeping during the day and no matter how much you sleep you don't feel rested because your your environment is very noisy because you know potentially there are birds chirping around which is nice i feel but it, it can be disruptive to your sleep cycle um, I feel like, you know, getting more, more water, getting proper exercise, getting your routine down, getting adjusted to it is, is like the, the main difficulty that you're dealing with right now. Um, I also feel a lot of you are very concerned about work finances as well. So this might be coming through as a result of that. Okay. So let's talk about the advice here and then we'll go into your love spread and see where this energy is coming from. I feel it's from work. I feel it's from dealing with a close interpersonal relationship, okay? 
Um, in terms of the advice, we're going to get a new job for you. There is a new offer coming through. It's a uh, Prince of Pentacles, so this is the Knight of Pentacles. It is something solid that is being handed out to you. And like I said, I feel like whatever you were making before, there is going to be a slight pay decrease. But think of the work as, you know, not only are you getting compensated for it, it's a um, skill set that you have to learn. So every work environment brings with it new challenges, new lessons, and rewarding experience, okay? So that's why I, I tell people, you know, try to branch out. Uh, do something that you never would have dreamed about and don't be so fixated about you know getting settled down into a career because it's a learning process as with everything in life okay uh, do it because it is going to come through for you so your financial situation you don't have to worry about it because there is an alternative revenue stream or a job offer lined up for you guys I do feel that um, what it is is the cards are advising you to hang on and don't get discouraged. I feel that as a um, worker, you are a very desirable candidate, okay? A lot of employers want to hire you. You are also dealing with a lot of competition as well. So whatever field you're in, I feel like it's on the forefront where the, the um, a lot of a lot of people are just in your same line of work and a lot of people are looking for the same job. So you might be in a niche environment where, so for example, if you're in, well, let, let's just say whatever city you're in, there are a lot of people vying for the same jobs. Okay. So you're in the same city with people who are in the same industry. So as a result of it, the market is just saturated by, with applicants. But I do feel that um, interviews will come through for you where you are going to be put in situations you, where you have to defend yourself, okay? Additionally, um, they might call you back for a second round of interview. And there is like a gap, a delay between the first round of interviews and you're worried and you're thinking, oh no, I didn't get the job. But they're coming, calling you back for a potentially second round of interview. And then there's going to be salary negotiations coming through, possibly by the April time frame. But I, I feel like something is coming together for you. New job opportunities, new training programs, and as well, new situation, new work environment, okay? So don't worry, Geminis. Um, for those of you who are dealing with an earth sign, and an earth sign is um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. For those of you dealing with um, an earth sign, I feel almost as if if you are in a situation where you have to take out a loan and a close friend family someone an earth sign around you is telling you no don't do that um, I, I can lend you money I don't charge interest the bank charge interest so you know don't take out the loan I can give you the money a lot of you feel as if no I'd rather go about it on my own and I'd rather you know not take a handout from anybody it's almost a situation where we are masking our true feelings we are masking our fears or at least we're putting on a brave face in front of people who love us and you know they love you and they they want to take care of you and they want they may want to make sure that you're okay so it is okay to let your guard down. It is okay to express your true feelings and to also let people know that, you know, um, that you're okay. So I feel like a lot of you might have your defenses up. A lot of you might think as if, well, no, I don't want to, you know, it might hurt your pride, for example, to accept a loan from children, your own children, or to, to finally come to the point where you feel like, oh, I'm not financially stable. I need to take out a loan. And it, it might hurt your self-esteem, but I, I do feel that um, somebody is, is trying to help somebody out and one person is too proud to acknowledge that they need help or even to accept the help that is coming through. And they're like uh, very much alone and isolated in their own misery is, is what I'm sensing. It can be you or another person, but I do feel all of these sword energies indicates to me that don't worry too much, Gemini's. Things will be okay. It's a new transformative phase of your life. You've A lot of you have implemented something drastic, something new. And you're at a point in your life where I feel that you're going to be okay. Going back to the January mid-month reading, I feel very, very strongly you still have divine protection, okay? 
and it is coming through in this spread here. And um, I feel like for those of you who have children, reconnect with your children. Your children are going to be able to give you very, very profound insight. I also feel there is a still a maternal figure hovering around you, making sure you're you're warm, making sure you're safe, making sure you're propped up, okay? And so that if this water sign is not a physical person, I feel it is being manifested in an um, a maternal figure that is hovering around you, that is surveilling the situation. And it's making sure you're safe, that you're okay, and that things will be taken care of when they need to. So they're, they're kind of like on the other side of the veil, um, trying to help you, giving you insights, giving you inspiration, um, making sure you are at the right place at the right time so that you can get whatever you need from your external environment, okay? You are protected here, Geminis, don't worry, okay? There's somebody very protective over you and um, it's a good energy so don't worry too much okay so let's go into your love reading and see what's going on for you guys let's see if that fire sign shows back up all right so Gemini love forecast Let me cut this here for March 2016 what's going on with Gemini's in love for March 2016. Well, I should say, let's see if there is an earth sign or a fire sign, because there was an earth sign earlier, and also the water sign, the Queen of Cups as well. What's going on for Gemini's for love? I'm going to pull out five cards and then read. Um, I don't read reversals, not with this deck, because it's a non-traditional deck. Yeah, earth sign, earth, yeah, earth and water. Interesting. So, I feel like, wow, you've got many options, Geminis. Once again, somebody is trying to help you. Somebody from your past, potentially. Somebody that you know around you is trying to help you. And I feel like um, someone is too proud. I feel like someone is too proud to accept help. Someone is trying to play it off as if they're okay, they're calm and collected. But I do sense that um, it's important for you to reach out. They're reaching out to you, so it's important to reach out to them. So the universe decides to give you an extra card. And once again, um, the fire sign is also showing up. So all the three signs are showing up, which is great. So let's go with this reading. First of all, let's talk about you singles. And I feel so strongly, not only are you going to be incredibly uh, attractive, this month and not only are you going to be in extremely in high demand I do feel people are like physically stumbling over one another trying to get your attention so this is the impact that you're making on the world Gemini's so you have nothing to worry about in the love department okay there is a lot of competition there's a lot of people I feel like alpha male very strong alpha male females energies that are in your external environment trying to, you know, get your attention. This is what I'm feeling here. And these don't have to be, you know, gender specific, but we have these two very strong character, a water sign and an earth sign. And both of them are kind of like whatever they've got on display, they're raising it up and they're making some type of declarative statements that they want to be with you. And um, I feel like a very, a, a little bit of a, show off energies, a little bit of a competitiveness between these two people. They might know about one another or they might have, um, they might run in the same circle. They might also be friends and they might, you know, um, they might be hanging out together when they both spot you and they both might be making a play for you is what I'm sensing. I feel like this guy, if you look at his eyes, he's eyeing his opponent. Whereas this guy is more like, I don't care. I just want to be with you. And he's like assessing to see he has, if he has something more than the next guy. So I feel like you, you have some very strong alpha energies, very strong willed and aggressive, potentially not in a bad way, but I feel like People who are not shy about showing their um, PDA, showing, you know, their feelings, okay? And what I'm sensing is they are kind of like in competition with one another. 
and there is some type of conflict here, competition coming through, which brings us to another energy. There is another fire sign, and the fire sign is just like, well, she or he has got a lot of competitors, so I don't even know if I want to get involved. So there's a hesitant fire sign also vying for your attention. So you've got water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got uh, earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And then you've got a reluctant fire sign, which is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay. Um, you can't really go wrong this month when it comes to dating. And all the options look good. This is one of the least aggressive, which is strange because it's a fire energy, but I feel like it might be a younger energy. And they're kind of reluctantly um, assessing or thinking about not entering the race, the competition. Um, what I do feel here is, especially for you singles, okay, there's a lot of social outings. For some reason, if you have recently moved, you're making quite a splash in your new environment, okay? There is a social, a lot of social outings which might involve, you know, alcohol consumption. This is the, um, it's the temperance card. And I know it, it just doesn't look anything like something you would think, you know, considering the, the traditional deck, but it is the temperance card. And it deals with, um, not doing things in moderation. So don't burn yourself out, okay? Um, try to focus on the work environment and also try to solidify, expand your friendships, not only just, you know, your dating life, because um, expanding your friendship would actually be better for you. So it's not, it's a good time to date, but I feel like you want to cultivate as well friendships with people who are your same gender or people whoever whatever gender you're dating or whatever gender you're friends with cultivate friendships as well as dating um, prospects because you know once you date them if things happen and you fall apart you can't really be friends so you want to cultivate friendships overall because you've got a lot of options to choose from and um, you know some of them are better served as friends so you want to go and reassess that situation and there's also a lot of opportunities for social functions, drinking potentially. Minimize the drinking. I do feel you want to minimize the drinking. It might affect your health. It affects your energy level for sure. And um, I do sense that you have a lot of new things coming in for you. So maybe it's time to find new ways to find joy, contentment, and, um, you know, just... Um, other ways to enjoy yourself without having to drink, so such as playing board games with the kids or going on dates where you go to a comedy club or you and you have like a blast without drinking or, you know, just doing things that are not oriented around drinking because I feel like you're already not getting enough sleep and you, you tack alcohol, excessive amount of alcohol on top of that. So you just want to be careful. Okay, so a lot of, a lot of social outings. Um, I also feel for those of you who are dating women, especially, we have a very strong earth sign as well as, um, I feel like almost a very strong fire sign around you. If you're dating women, there might be some conflictual situation with a fire sign. Okay. And, um, regardless of, um, if you're single or dating, if you're single, dating, or in committed relationships, I feel like there is still a conflict with a fire sign, potentially somebody from the past that is coming back through for this month. And also there's um, conflict that needs to be hashed out. So take the time to take care of that situation. So Gemini's, it looks very good. Um, and also for those of you who are uh, in stable relationships, um, I feel as if, first of all, if you're in a stable relationship, I feel that your partner is going to step up and provide for you. Okay, so we have the king and the queen here, and both of these are very stable people. And it seems to me that if you're in a stable relationship, you both are like a, a great match for one another. Okay, a great, great match for one another. I feel like there has been a major or a sudden, uh, within the past three months, there was a sudden revival uh, of the love, affection, and, you know, um, some type of stability that was established. 
some type of new milestone that was reached between you and your significant other. You both have, um, you might have renewed your vows. You might have declared, you know, that you really love one another. You might have gone through some hardship that was potentially conflictual or emotionally destabilizing. And this is the month in which you are overcoming all of that. And your partner might be stepping up in order to show you that they really do care about you. So I feel like overall, it is a very good match with your current stable relationship partner, okay? Um, if there has been, you know, situations where there's mistrust and things like that from the past, exes and things like that, um, jealousies over exes, and other people interfering in the relationship, this is the month in which it ends and you can move ahead in a new light, okay? So it looks very good, and I feel like this is just a really, uh, yeah, it's a great reading in terms of love. Um, finances, you know, take care of that. Um, rein in your spending, Geminis. I feel like um, I feel like you could do with uh, less of the purchases, or, you know, if you are one of those people who spend very uh, lavishly, curb your spending, but avoid putting yourself in those situations where, you know, if you're, you have a, a spending habit, like if you have a shopping uh, addiction, just don't try not to go to the mall. And um, instead of spending time at the mall, for example, or even going out drinking every night, do things that add value to your life, you know, going for a hike, doing some outdoor activities, spending time with animals, spending time with people who care about you and who love you. And doing these things will actually get you a little bit more grounded. It saves money, first of all. It also provides the grounding stability that you need. So I feel like for a lot of Geminis in the past, there might have been some type of um, avoidance, avoiding conflict or even avoiding, you know, um, avoiding financial issues, like not knowing that you're in the red, not knowing how bad it is, but not wanting to face up to it. So I feel like this is the month in which you need to be woken up. You've been hibernating for a little bit too long. So, you know, get out there and date and try to do more outdoor activities because I feel like it's going to rejuvenate you on a physical level. It's good for your health. It's also going to allow you to, you know, detach from... Uh, old ways of entertaining yourself that you might not have liked, but for some reason you found yourself continuously doing it. So that is going out, drinking every night and feeling really bad the next day and doing things that are better for your health, such as hiking, camping, 